Facebook's drive to become your next TV takes flight today. A new video platform is being launched with original content just for viewing on Facebook. It's called Watch and is available to a select group of users today. Disney is also creating its own streaming service and removing the company's content from Netflix. All this could affect the way you find your shows, movies, and videos. Robert Safin is editor and managing director of Fast Company. Good morning. Good morning. Let's good talk, morning. Good morning to you. Okay. Let's talk about Facebook first. What, how is this platform going to work and what the content that's going to be on it? Yeah, so this is really a shot across the bow to YouTube. That's really who Facebook is initially going after with this. It's, it's creators' content. Uh, it's, it's part of an ongoing, really, war battle between the big tech companies as they're expanding into each other's areas more and more. That's really what's going on here. And Disney doing the same thing by saying, and, and Disney's we'll stream our own content. We don't need you to do it. Right. Well, Dis Disney's is, is again, it's the, it's the cross Disney and Netflix. Uh, Disney went to Netflix because they needed streaming technology, right? Netflix went to Disney because they needed content. Well, Netflix is now creating a lot more of its own content. Disney spent $2.5 billion buying a company called BAM Tech. They have their own streaming technology. Uh, this competition continues to intensify across, across all of these different platforms. Right, um, but YouTube remains, you know, the the uh, the, the 800-pound gorilla in this. People spend a billion hours a day watching YouTube videos. A billion hours a day. So Facebook has uh, advantages that they can that they can exploit to try to expand to get into that territory. But YouTube at this point has uh, has the big advantage. What kind of content is it that will be streaming on Facebook? Well, at this point, they have some premium content. They are paying some folks for some content, but a lot of it is by the kinds of creators that have historically populated uh, have historically populated YouTube that, that Facebook will, will exploit. Now, one of the things, I spent some time with Mark Zuckerberg earlier this year, and he is constantly iterating. He's continuing to move and improve. So wherever Facebook is today, that doesn't mean they're not going to be someplace else tomorrow. So what will the networks do? Well, the, the networks are, at this point, what is the difference between a network, between a television channel, between a cable channel, between an app, between a website, right? All of these lines have been blurring, and particularly on mobile devices as we go to 5G, as we move toward broader bandwidth across our phones, all these lines are going to blur even more. Where and when people watch content from a consumer's point of view, we're going to have more choices in more ways than we ever did before. From a business point of view, who's going to win? Uh, all bets are off. Uh, everyone is trying to get into everyone else's business. During your chat with Zuckerberg, did you talk about the spread of misinformation on Facebook and what he's doing to combat that, uh, the extremist views that you sometimes see on your Facebook feed? We did talk about that a little bit. And again, he sees these challenges as being uh, challenges that can be surmounted. He's very much an, an engineer's mindset, right? You have a problem, you see it, you address it, you fix it, you make it better over time, and you move on to the next thing. And that's what he believes uh, that, he, that Facebook can do and will continue to do. Uh, it, it goes for problems, it goes for opportunities. Is he going to run for president? Uh, he, he didn't share that with me. I'm not sure that's in his plans in the near term. But there is speculation. <laughs> there is speculation, but I think he's got a pretty big platform that he's already in charge of running. That's Someone keeping. Busy. Regardless, yeah. thank you very much, Robert Safian. Thank you.